Hello children. Welcome to digital class. This presentation is about perimeter and area of class 6. Here is rectangular shaped playground. Sonu goes all around this playground for jogging every day. One day, Sonu's grandfather asked him, "Sonu, how much distance you covered in jogging today?" Sonu replied, "I don't know, grandpa. How can I tell the distance covered by me now? I'll measure and tell you tomorrow." Grandpa explained Sonu about the calculations. See Sonu, just imagine the shape of the playground. It is rectangular. We know that length of the playground is 30 meters and its breadth is 20 meters. So you covered all the four sides. That means you covered 30, 20, 30, 20. Total 100 meters in one round. Every day you go around it for five times. So total distance covered by you is 500 meters. And we call this distance around the ground as perimeter. So children. we come across these type of situations in daily life too like if you want to fence a plot how would you calculate how much fencing is required or if your parents want to put a new carpet in your room how much carpet you need to buy you get an idea of how to answer these type of questions after this presentation so let's begin our concept Suppose this is a rectangular shaped field. The portion in red is the distance on all the four sides of the field and just now we have seen that this is called perimeter. Then what is area? If we want to make this field as a flower garden that is if we want to cover the field with flowering plants then How many plants are needed to cover the entire field? It depends on the surface enclosed by this field and this is called area. So, a perimeter is the total boundary of the two-dimensional shape. If you want to provide a fencing around the entire field, you need its perimeter. The units of the perimeter are centimeter, meter, etc. and The area is the amount of space taken up by the object. It is measured in square units. Now let's find perimeter of any polygon. Polygon is a closed figure bounded by line segments. The first polygon you can see here is a triangle which is bounded by three line segments. And perimeter of this triangle is sum of the three sides AB, BC, CA. That is 3 plus 4 plus 5 gives you 12 cm. The next figure here is a polygon bounded by five line segments and this is called pentagon. Now perimeter of pentagon is given by adding all the five sides that is 3 4 2 4 2 we get 15 cm. So Perimeter of any polygon can be obtained by adding its sides. Next we find perimeter of regular polygon. What is a regular polygon? A polygon in which all the sides are equal is called a regular polygon. You can see here this is a triangle with equal sides. This is an example of regular polygon and we also call this as equilateral triangle. Perimeter of an equilateral triangle is given by a plus a plus a that is 3 into a so it is 3 into side and the next figure you see here is bounded by six equal sides so this is called regular hexagon and the perimeter of regular hexagon is 6 into side the same way perimeter of a regular pentagon is 5 into side Perimeter of a regular septagon is 7 into side. Perimeter of a regular octagon is 8 into side. So in general, perimeter of any regular polygon is given by n into side v. 
where n is number of sides of the polygon now we find perimeter of rectangle and square this is a rectangle whose dimensions are l b l b where l is the length b is the breadth and perimeter of rectangle is given by sum of the sides l plus b plus l plus b l plus l is 2l b plus b is 2b so it is 2 into l plus b so perimeter of rectangle is given by 2 into length plus breadth now perimeter of square is sum of all the four sides that is 4 into side next we find area of rectangle and square first we take up a rectangle as i said area is the surface occupied by the object let us divide this rectangular surface into squared units each square here is of length 1 unit so each square occupies area of 1 square unit so total number of squares gives area of the rectangle area of the rectangle is number of squares covering it that is 36 which can be written as 9 into 4 where 9 is the length and 4 is the breadth so it is length into breadth area of rectangle is given by length into breadth in the same way area of square will be side into side because in square both length and breadth will be same so it is side into side what we have learned so far perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into length plus breadth perimeter of a square is 4 into side area of a rectangle is length into breadth area of a square is side into side and perimeter of equilateral triangle is 3 into side let us see some problems find the perimeter and area of a rectangle which is 35 meters long and 23 meters wide here is a rectangle whose length is 35 meters and breadth is 23 meters first we find perimeter of this rectangle the formula is given by 2 into length plus breadth that is 2 into 35 plus 23 which is equal to 2 into 58 it gives 116 meters next we find area of the rectangle and the formula is l into b that is 35 into 23 805 square meters note the units here children perimeter units are given in meters because in the question length and breadth are given in meters and its area is given in square meters next question find the perimeter and area of the square with side 52 cm this is a square with side 52 cm first we find perimeter of the square the formula is 4 into side that is 4 into 52 208 cm and area of the square is given by s into s that is 52 into 52 2704 square centimeter not the units of the perimeter and area perimeter is given in centimeters because side is given in centimeters and area is given in square centimeters next question find the cost of fencing a square park of side 250 meters at the rate of 20 rupees per meter this is a square park whose side is 250 this in order to find cost of fencing first we need to find perimeter of this square park because fencing is done all around the park so first we find perimeter of the square which is given by 4 into side and the side here is 250 so it's 4 into 250 1000 meters given rate of fencing is 20 rupees per meter total distance to be covered is 1000 meters so the cost of fencing this park will be 1000 into 20 20000 rupees the last question for today children 
How many tiles of dimensions 12 and 5 can be laid in a room with length 144 cm and width 100 cm? Try to understand this question children. You have a room whose length is 144 cm and width is 100 cm and you need to cover this room with the tiles. The dimensions of the tiles are 12 and 5. The question is how many such tiles are needed? For that, first we find area of the room that is L into B 144 into 100 it is 14,400 square centimeters. Next we find area of the tile that is 12 into 5 60 square centimeters. And now number of tiles required is given by area of the room divided by area of the tile. 14,400 divided by 60 and that is nothing but 240 tiles. So you need 240 tiles to cover the room. So children, try to relate every topic you learn to the daily life situations wherever applicable. Thank you all for watching this.